Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my monitoring my beauty purchases for March 2019, 2020, 2020. Um, okay, so mm, I bought a lot. I bought a lot this month. Um, I've got something potentially in the works which I won't get into, uh, but it relates to some of the products here. So I'm not, some of them I'm just going to sort of gloss over this, you know, this is a series that I do every month. Um, so obviously I want to mark the purchases so I can also come back to them in a year's time and let you guys know whether they were good purchases or not. Uh, but <laughs> look, I bought a lot. Let me just tell you that much. Um, so one thing that I picked up was this guy. This is the Natasha Denona Lipophoria in Nude. Um, so this is a lip gloss. It is a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Uh, but if I pair this with a darker lip liner, it's nice. I, I like it. On its own, uh, it's got, I think it might be like the pigment that's been used in the formula. Um, on its own, it like, it looks like the pigment grabs and sort of builds up around um, dry patches on the lips, which is something that I always have. Uh, it's minty without being like overly... Um, cooling or icy feeling it's okay um you know it's it's a thing i was really curious about it i thought these looked gorgeous when we talked about them on beauty news so i picked one of them up um i also picked up this guy which i haven't used it's a tart shape tape glow wand i grabbed the shade a light um so i actually saw these in um sephora and I swatched a couple of them and they're like, mm, they seem really nice. But essentially, it's like a liquid illuminator. They're strange because when you put them on, it's like, oh, it's concealer. Uh, but then when you buff them out, it's like, oh no, it's like an illuminizer. And they're really fucking pretty. And it's kind of been one of those things that's been on my mind since I swatched them in store. Uh, so I went for one of them as well, apparently. This is something that's been on my wish list since December last year. This is from Kevin Aquan. It's the uh, Glass Glow Face Illuminator in Crystal Clear. So uh, the reason I like saw this and I was like, oh, I want to try that. I was watching El Darby's vlogmas um i discovered her in december because she was doing vlogmas and uh she used this in one of her videos where she was just sort of you know chit chatting to the camera and um she put this on as a base and uh, essentially it's like it it's a a glowy product it's a glowy hydrating product now when I was watching her, I was like, ooh, that looks like it could be sort of like a balmy type product. I, d I don't think it's like a, just like a, um, you know, liquid highlighter that's going to set. Uh, but I wasn't too sure. Anyway, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to buy it. Uh, so I bought it and I was dead right. This is like, this is like gloss for your face. Now, when I actually like felt it, because I bought it online, uh, when I felt it in person, I was like, oh, this might be dangerous. Uh, but I've been using it, and I can tell you, I fucking like it. Um, I will talk about this more in another video. Uh, but for now, we'll keep going, because I've got more stuff. Uh, NARS. This is the Afterglow Face Palette. So last month, in February, I brought the NARS... Uh, face glow stuff, what you called, tinted glow booster, and I also brought a lip product from Stila, which turns out to be not, not my favourite. Um, and I saw this at Mecca, and I was like, ooh, she pretty. Um, and I didn't buy it then, but then, like, Kat saw it in store, and she's like, ooh, I really like this, and I'm like, if you get one, get one for me, and she got one, so she got me one too. Um, and I used it today for the first time, and I like it. 
Uh, I love the color story. The color story is sick. And even like I'm not a pink eyeshadow person. You probably know that if you watch a lot of my stuff. But these are lovely pink. So I've got this uh, softer pink on the sort of inner section of my crease. And I have this darker pink on the outer corner uh, paired with the orange and the gold. Um, and I like that they work really, those pinks work really well with the colors in the palette. What I will say, what I will say is, <laughs> for starters, look at that fucking packaging. Uh, Nas, you know how to do it, baby. Um, this formula is not Nas's best eyeshadow formula. This is sort of, this, to me, this feels like, um, say, Nas eyeshadow formula five years ago, where it was kind of rubbish versus uh, some of their top-notch formula that they've been releasing in like more recent years. If they got together and had a baby, it's the in-between. Some of the shades are nice and some are like not, not as good as what I know NARS can do. So there we go. But I want to play with it more before I... Um, I talk about that I'll probably update it in like a monthly recap maybe next maybe next month because I need some time to play with it um oh, okay 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 so um I when I was buying this uh the reason I like chucked this in my cart was to reach the free shipping cap through Sephora for this <gasps> I finally got it I was so excited when I saw this on the Sephora app I was like ah I gotta buy it. Um, I had a wisdom tooth removed in March and I spent quite a few days. The recovery was not the best I've ever had with a wisdom teeth removal. Um, and I spent quite a few days in bed. So I was doing a lot of like sort of slightly sedated, a little bit high on painkillers, uh, browsing on the shops the online shop so you know there's that but when I saw this I like nearly peed my pants I was so excited it is the uh, Zoeva 146 concealer perfecter brush so this is sort of like a domed and angled concealer brush um, and when uh, Zoeva sort of announced that this was coming very soon after Pat McGrath announced like the exact same cut and of course I'm not going to buy the Pat McGrath one because uh, there's a really fucking good chance that they're made in the same factory and Zoeva is much more affordable. Um, anyway, this is cool. The angle of this is, I've got to say it's really clever. This is a clever little brush. Um, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that I got that one. Um, and the rest of the stuff that I have purchased is um, Charlotte Tilbury stuff. <laughs> I Okay, so <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury products have been on my mind lately. I don't really know why. It's just like the seed was planted. I, and look, the seed has probably been being planted for a long time now. Um, and it, it's, it's been growing. It's been growing and... <laughs> I just, I don't know, <laughs> painkillers, you know, like, you just, whatever, what can I say? Anyway, um, so I bought a lot of stuff. For starters, I got an eyeshadow palette. So this is one that's been on my wish list since last year. It is the Easy Eye Palette uh, for the Charlotte Darling look. So it's a six pan mini palette and it is absolutely stunning. You've got three mattes in there with these shades and then three sort of like uh, I would call them not quite metallics but they're like they're getting there. They're more punchier than a shimmer but they're not super metallic. It's gorgeous. It's fucking gorgeous. I'm so glad that I bought it. Um, I have used all of the shades. I've used it multiple times. I'm even like so I'm currently obsessed with the original Urban Decay Naked palette. Uh, some of you will know it's in like my um, eyeshadow project for the year and it's pretty much the only thing that I want to use and I haven't really been excited about buying eyeshadow palettes. Like none of them are really tickling my fancy. And then I got the NARS one and then I was like, I'm going to buy this. Um, and 
oh, I, I kind of want to reach for this over the Urban Decay one. So it says a lot. It says a lot. I love it. Um, more Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. Uh, this is the Film Star Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight Palette in Fair Medium. When I opened this, I was like, <laughs> that looks like a face powder to me, not a bronzer. Um, but it's actually a very nice shade. Uh, it's, it's going to come off a little bit softer on camera, but for like, so camera makeup and just makeup makeup, like wearing out in public makeup, they're different kettle of fish. Um, when you're sitting down in front of camera, you've got lights, everything gets washed out, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I do feel like it gets a little bit washed out on camera, but in person, whoo, oh, she nice. I like it. I'm very happy that I got this. Um, and the highlight, I am, blah, 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 I am wearing it today. It is not like sparkly or over the top. It's like glowy and pretty. Uh, I like it. I like it. I like all my Charlotte Tilbury shit. Um, I'm feeling very good about this haul. This was like one of those things where I was like, you know what, you buy all those fucking things that have been on your wish list. And it was like every single box was just tick, 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 tick. Uh, I also picked up a beauty light wand. Now they recently uh, released, I think two new shades of this. One of them was I believe for deeper skin and then one was in pillow talk. Um, I didn't buy either of them. I actually bought Spotlight, which is the lightest shade. Um, I, it does come with a sponge on it. I pulled that shit right off. I did try it with the sponge and I was like, yeah, no, I'm no. Um, but I'm wearing it under the highlighter that is in the Filmstar Glow palette and it's gorgeous. Uh, Magic Away Liquid Concealer. In the shade, medium. Uh, I'm wearing this today as well. So far, mm, so far, so good. It hasn't creased. It's got good coverage and it feels um, like it doesn't feel dry under my eyes, which is really nice. Uh, that's sort of a pet peeve of mine at the moment with a lot of my concealers that were suitable for oily skin and now like they feel like they're sucking the life out of my face. So, um, there we go. That one also has a sponge and you can bet your ass I pulled that right off before I even used it because I don't fuck with sponges, like sponge applicators on makeup products. It's fucking, it's weird. Um, and last thing, last thing I got was a blush. So this is Pillow Talk. It's cheek to chic in Pillow Talk. I am also wearing this today and, um, this is, uh, so I used an extremely light hand when I applied this. You know what, while, while we're here, let's put on more because this is the last video I'm going to film today. Natasha Denona number 16 brush. Thank you, Madeline. I really like this. So I used a very, very light amount when I applied this and on camera it's getting washed out. In person it is just the softest, softest hint of like rosiness. Um, it, it just sort of brings out what you would consider like a natural flush. But I'm gonna go a little bit harder for the camera and see how she looks. Oh, it's got like this built-in core of highlighter. <laughs> I'm just getting more and more glowy. But I kind of don't hate that. God, even when I put that on heavy, it's soft. I really, really like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're friends. We are so friends. I can see myself going broke buying more Charlotte Tilbury stuff because um, although I have only used the items once, except for this, I'm like, I've just had a beautiful experience with everything. Uh, so... That's dangerous because there's still more things that I want from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, but I really need to save some money now. <laughs> so that's it for all of my March purchases. I will hopefully be back soon with another video that sort of features some of the stuff that I talked about here. Um, just look, you'll know it when you see it, basically. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, wait, wait, I wanted to ask you about Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Have you guys 
tried any Charlotte Tilbury stuff and if you have what's your favorite product come on <laughs> plant that little seed uh, it's it's the brand is so hard on my radar right now and I I'm kind of obsessed I think I want mm, I was gonna say I think I want more of these blushes but I have so many fucking blushes like mmm okay so I'm I'm losing the plot with Charlotte Tilbury but you know whatevs uh I'm enjoying it so let me know your favorite Charlotte Tilbury product um and if there's anything else that you saw here that you've tried or you're curious about um let me know like have you tried this what do you think about it because um I'm finding for dry skin that this could be a little bit of a game changer for me um I want to use it more before I talk about it more though so you know leave your comments down below. Did you buy this one or the Pat McGrath one? <laughs> Look, I understand people really love Pat. They stan her and that's cool, but I wanted the brush without spending the big bucks and I'm very pleased that I got that one. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all doing well. Don't forget to wash your hands. I love you and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.